Shamgar and his ox goad. Just one little verse. Now, when you look at the book of Judges, we get to see this is right after Joshua, right? And what we have to think of, we have to think of uh, judges as uh, saviors, uh, little mini saviors, maybe even little mini Jesuses. Uh, we get this description in, in uh, Judges chapter 2. I can't remember exactly which verse it is, but it, it speaks about what uh, judges do, right? Judges come about, uh, they're sent by God when the people have gone after other gods and done what's evil in their, uh, the eyes of the Lord, uh, and uh, they need salvation because now they're put under this, uh, this weight and this oppression uh, by Philistines or Canaanites or any, any number of other uh, people groups. And so here comes a judge to save the people uh, from the sin that they've basically put them place, themselves into, right? So the book of Judges starts with, and this makes sense, it starts with the death of Joshua, whose very name does mean Yahweh saves. It is the Hebrew equivalent of Jesus and what, what we know as Jesus. So that's interesting in and of itself. But then we also have a, a couple other judges, right? Uh, so we have Othniel is the first one, and then Ehud, uh, and then after that is Deborah, and we've heard of Gibeon and, 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 and Samson and all of that. But right there, it, Judges 3.31, we have just one verse of this guy named Shamgard. Uh, he's the son of Anath, uh, and, and uh, he saves the uh, Israelites uh, by killing 600 Philistines. Now, I've got no idea who this Shamgard is. We, we only hear his name twice in the Bible. And when you take a little uh, look into it, uh, dig in a little bit, that, that's, it's not a Hebrew name. Um, in fact, it, it, it's probably uh, some form of a Canaanite name. On top of that, this son of Anath, uh, that's probably not his mom. It's probably not his dad. Uh, archaeologically speaking, we've, we found uh, uh, names and titles uh, uh, carved into to things like arrowheads. It, it seems as if sons of Anath was... Uh, was this Canaanite uh, uh, kind of militaristic group who went around uh, uh, killing Philistines. Well, this is interesting. I mean, maybe this is exactly who the Shamgar is. We, we don't have a definitive uh, uh, word from our Lord saying that he is a, uh, a, a judge, although he very well might be from, from a kind of a outside-the-box way of looking at it. But this shouldn't surprise us that our Lord is actually using the things of uh, the temporal world that we live in, in order to either exact judgment or bring salvation. We have this all over the place. We have this um, with the Egyptians. We have this with the Assyrians later on. God is using them to exact judgment. God is using the Babylonians to exact judgment uh, even after that. And then with the Babylonians, uh, he has this promise of, of Cyrus, Right, Isaiah speaks of this guy named Cyrus who is outside of uh, Babylon and, he, and he's not an Israelite and he's going to be the Savior, which is a foreshadowing of Jesus. Right, The Savior that you would never expect is going to come in and kill all the Babylonians or destroy the Babylonians and then send and set God's people free. Well, that's exactly what Jesus does. Well, it very well could be that this Shamgar guy who might be, who might be a, a military leader in a Canaanite uh, uh, uh War, as a Canaanite warrior, is the very one that God is using to bring salvation to his people. God works in mysterious, mysterious ways, but maybe even Shamgar and his ox goad can be a picture of Jesus.